Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about a couple things in this video. I kind of wanted to start this video by giving an update to Exxon and kind of updating my views on that. And then later in the video, I kind of wanted to talk about the overall market and why I kind of think we get a rotation out of tech in the shorter term and actually into some of these value names. So as I mentioned before, I said you had a pretty good risk reward buying against these previous lows here. And that's kind of due to the fact that we're playing out this sort of long-term ABC wave. I do believe this stock is bottomed as well as the entire energy sector. I've referenced that in a couple videos now. And I think you're getting kind of great risk reward entries. As I said longer term, I think this stock could go to the 161.8% extension of this long-term ABC wave. That sits at around 150 a share. I think we definitely see that longer term, but you might be waiting a very long time for that. Probably something close to a decade. But on a short-term basis, I do think you have a great trade putting your risk against this pivot here. Since that's a pivot on this C wave, that's where you'd want to put your risk against, and you'd kind of look for a move higher here. And where I think we could go would be these long-term pivots we have back here. Again, I would probably wait for it to break this downtrend line here, and then I would go about taking a position. But once you break that downtrend line, I believe you use these recent lows as a stop here at around 32, and I think that'll give you a great risk reward trade here. In this case, you would want to target that 138 to 161.8% extension. If I was to take a position, let's say at about 40, I would use that 32 level as my stop, risking 8 points, and I'd target that 64 to 70 area. I would look to trim half into that 64 area and probably sell the rest in that 161.8% extension at 70. Longer term, usually when you break down from a pivot like this, you're going to get a back test before either further slide or a kind of break over that pivot and then a move higher. So we should back test this pivot at some point, and right now I think we're kind of putting in a bottom, and I think we're going to back test that pivot over the next coming year. Now, as I said, taking an equity position here, I think offers you a great risk reward trade. I think this could be a potential double bottom where you kind of double bottom, kind of set up a W formation back to this 161.8% extension. So something like this can unfold where we kind of W formation, probably find supply at this 161.8% extension, consolidate, and then push over these highs. I think we could see something like this. So if you were to, let's say, take a position at 40 and use that 32 area as your stop, well, in this case, you're risking about 8 points for 30 points. So you've got around a 1 to 4 risk reward in the trade. That's a pretty good risk reward trade. So the second we kind of break that downtrend line, I'm going to personally take my position, use that 32 error as my stop, and I'm going to be looking for a W formation back to this 161.8% extension and those long-term pivots that we still need to backtest. I think we could break over those pivots, see that 161.8% extension, then drop back below that pivots, and that would kind of give you a psychological move over those pivots and then back below. So you get above, back below move, or then we'd probably see more short-term downside. And then we'd kind of break to new highs, which is why I think we kind of break over those pivots and then back below them. Now in this video, I kind of wanted to talk about the option chain as well, because these call options are extremely cheap here, and I think they have an amazing risk to reward ratio. So right now we have these $50 June 2021 calls. These are sitting at about 60 to 70 cents. I think these could see over 20 in premium. So I think you have an amazing risk reward here. I think these could potentially 40x. In options, I personally don't take trades with more than a 1 to 10 risk reward ratio. And I usually like to take 5% of my portfolio risk per options trade. That way you have a significant margin for error. But I really like this trade. I think these $50 calls at around 60 to 70 cents is a great entry. I think these could see almost 20 in premium. And I would go about it the same way. I would probably trim half into about 64 when they're going for about 15 in premium. And then I would look to sell the rest at about 20 in premium. I think there's actually a great chance you see that level. The reason I'm going out to June next year is because, well, it might take a while to build out this kind of W formation here. If you look back to this initial drop we had back here, well, it took about three months to see this drop. I think this could take about three to four months as well to see this $70 area. So I'm going about almost a year out. That way it gives me enough time on the trade to where I don't receive a lot of time decay and I can still stop out of the trade for a small loss if we do end up breaking below these lows. I would personally look to take these right here. In options, I always like to assume zero. That's why I say this has a 1 to 40 risk to reward ratio. But I would look to stop out of this trade if we break below these recent lows. I would take these here just because the risk to reward it's giving you. I think this is outright an amazing trade on these $50 calls. I think these could see almost 20 in premium which would be about a 200% return on your options account if you only take 5% risk. So that's the way I would go around trading this. I'm going to take an equity position when we break over this downtrend line, and I'm definitely going to take these call options tomorrow morning on the market open at whatever I can fill at. Absolutely going to take those. I think these can 40x. Now that that's out of the way, I kind of wanted to discuss the overall market here. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I think the S&P kind of sees this ABC wave move down. I think you short versus these all-time highs here. 
On a short-term basis, I've given a few trade ideas, but I do think you short versus these all-time highs, and we'll see this kind of sea wave to this 38.2% extension. We've yet to tag this, this entire move up from those March lows. You're usually going to get that at some point, and it would make sense to get it right after we kind of topped out, broke over the top of this megaphone pattern, fell back below. You get that above back below move, creating a level of overhead supply, and now we should kind of see this sea wave to this 38.2% extension sitting at about 3,050. I think we could slightly undercut that level potentially. There could be psychological reasons to do so, but I still think we see this 3050 level. You have this pretty heavy demand zone I've mentioned in previous videos before where I said we would bounce off this level building out this B wave at about 3200. I think this level has been such a strong level over the past few months that it would make sense to sort of run stops below that level, stopping everyone out of their long positions where then we get a break back above that level and you would get a below back above move. I think that would create a very bullish environment where we could be setting up a longer term bull flag here. In my last video, if you want to check it out, it's the S&P 500 video. I referenced that there is significant psychological reasons for lower. Feel free to check that out. I'll probably put an annotation somewhere above. But basically, my views on this market is that we're going to see some short-term downside. I actually don't think the value name C declines. Ever since about May earlier this year, every time we've seen drops in the market, we've seen a rotation in the value. We've seen a rotation in the like IWM or more value-oriented stocks like airlines, stuff like that. I think tech is really going to be the culprit for this drop, and I think it's going to be the sole thing that not only drops the market, since it's the sole thing that's had the market rise, I also think it's going to be the only thing that actually drops the market significantly here. I don't think the value stocks in the market currently are going to drop along with this C wave that we build out on the S&P. I think it's just going to be tech names like Amazon. You have this five-wave move up higher here. It's kind of building out a bear flag here, and I think we do break lower and see this C wave at least undercutting those recent lows because usually when you get a head and shoulders pattern like this you're going to get a slight undercut of those lows and then you're going to see a break back above something like this so i think there's a strong chance we do at least break below those recent lows on amazon in this case and i think you could potentially short versus this wick high here at about 3220 i think you have a great risk reward shorting against that and we'll probably slightly undercut those lows seeing a c wave down again that's another great setup i think that's a great short setup Another stock we have here, Apple, it's kind of had this significant move higher, we're building at a bear flag, and I think we could see the 161.8% extension of this bear flag that sits at about 95. So again, I kind of think tech is going to pull back here and be the main culprit of the S&P 500 actually dropping here. If we look at QQQ as well, another bear flag, I think you get that measured move lower and we kind of see a C wave here to about 246. 240 was a huge previous level before, I think we kind of retest that level. So basically what I'm trying to say here is I think we kind of see money start to rotate out of tech on this short term drop, which is what we started to see earlier this year whenever the market would decline. We'd see tech drop and rotation in a value. I think we kind of get that on this entire C wave lower here. I don't think stocks like Exxon are actually going to drop during this. I actually believe they're going to get bought up. And we're actually going to see bullish moves in those stocks, which is why I think we see such a steep move higher in Exxon. I'm not saying we're going to see a prolonged downtrend in tech stocks. Overall, I think the S&P still goes to about 4,100, as I've referenced in many videos before. I think we see that 4,100 level before we see kind of a much larger bear market. That would kind of give you a long-term five-wave cycle higher since the 2009 lows. And that's also the 161.8% extension from the March lows to the previous all-time highs we had. So basically, the point I'm trying to push across here is I think tech does see significant declines over the next month. And I think we see kind of a rotation in the names like Exxon. And I think those are giving you amazing risk-reward setups right now, whereas the rest of the market, other than value, really isn't. They're more or less giving you bearish setups that you can actually short. For instance, QQQ here, you can short against all-time highs. Or you can wait for a break of this bear flag and then short against these recent highs here. But yeah, that's kind of my views on Exxon and the overall market right now. I think tech stocks are going to see a significant decline here, causing the market to decline, kind of building out these ABC waves, where then we'll probably see all-time highs after that. And I think we start to see money rotate into value, kind of creating bullish setups there. Most of those stocks are kind of getting ready to set up. Most of them look like they've bought them longer term, while tech stocks are really exhausted to the upside here. So I think right now you'd want to put your money into value names, like Exxon, I think Exxon's giving you great setups. I think there's a few other energy stocks that are giving you great setups. Obviously, we're not going to see oil prices drop below where they were in March. So you're getting great risk reward trades at those same kind of levels that they were at previously in March, while oil prices are significantly higher. And yeah, that's kind of my views on this. I think those call options can pay up to about 4,000%. Totally think that's possible. I think they offer an amazing risk reward, and I think the equity offers an amazing risk reward. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, it helped you out in some sort of way, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. It really helps me out, and it's very much appreciated. And uh, thank you so much for watching.